This video is about your electric cart goes slow or it doesn't go the distance anymore. What could be causing that? So it could be that it's the design of the cart to begin with. Some carts were made to go. They only went 12 miles an hour. They were designed to go 12 miles an hour and that's all they're designed to do. And there's nothing you can do to change it. Those carts usually are older carts but there will be a handle for the forward and the reverse in that area where he just put his hand instead of a switch on the dash, that a rocker switch like that, or a rocker switch down there. It's more of a mechanical handle you have to flip. And those carts cannot be programmed. There's nothing you can do to make them go faster other than spend thousands of dollars. And why would you? Because the cart ain't worth that much. So that's the end of that story. The f most critical thing that causes carts to go slow and not go half the distance they used to go, but when they come in here, we find, is that there's no air in the tires. They look round, but when we test them, there's two pounds of air instead of 20 pounds of air in the tires. And that makes a big difference. It creates plenty of drag and that causes the problem. So check the air in your tires before you start crying about it doesn't go very far or it doesn't go very fast. Step number three, check the water in your batteries. Make sure that your batteries have water in them. I think you all know how to do that. You just pop the caps and you look inside. You gotta be covering them plates with water. The plates are the part that looks like cardboard in there standing on edge. Okay, number four, is it fully charged? Well, if it's coming off winter and you charged it once, I would take, let it cool down and charge it again. Make sure you're letting that charger run till it shuts off on its own. That's very important. Short charging it, you're just ruining your batteries. If anybody told you to run their batteries down before you charge them, they didn't know what they were talking about. These aren't my cat batteries, they're lead acid batteries. You don't ever want them to go below 40%. How do you know when it's at 40%? I couldn't honestly tell you. But if it starts going slow, you better quit running it until you get it charged. Okay. Okay. Number five on my list, check battery voltage. So, we're just going to check the whole pack in general. You can buy one of these little testers of your Menards or your Ace Hardware. And this one is 48.4 volts right now. That's okay, but on a 48 volt cart, it should be around 50 volts if it's fully charged, not 48. So that's something to look for. Okay. Uh, next, we're going to check. Uh, well, there's not anything that you can do on 36 volt carts that you're going to change much. Okay, so can that cart be made to go faster or why is it going slow? Well, okay, most 48 volt carts can be, the program can be changed. A 36 volt cart, some yes, the way they used to change them is it had a personality plug that plugs in the controller, which is underneath the box, underneath in there. And that's something that most people don't feel comfortable with working on yourself, but we can do that for you. You cannot program this yourself unless you have a handheld programmer. Turn that on and show them the handheld program. This isn't just a program. This tells us everything about your cart, what's wrong with it, how many hours are on it. Anything I want to know about your cart is in that controller. And yes, you have to go to school to learn to understand some of the things in there. And our technicians go to school every other year on these brands for a couple of days a year. It costs a lot of money. Maybe you could buy that programmer, but you're still not going to know what to do if you ain't been to the school. And so we're going to show you that right now, 
Show them how we can get to the speed. And it tells us in there what it's set at. And we can go beyond the parameters that are in this thing. Right there, we can speed this card up some. But in order to make this card go its fastest, we have to have a special program that we can put in here, and it costs some money to do that because the manufacturer charges us to do that because there's more liability the faster it goes. Now, I, I'm going to speak about the ones on the club cars. This is on easy. On club car, I use a very similar handheld controller, but I cannot speed it up to its maximum speed as easy as I can the easy go because I have to have the serial number off the cart off the controller which is buried underneath your rear seat and I have to call it in to club car and get it approved and they charge me a lot of money to be able to change your speed because the same issue liability faster it goes the more they're on the hook for it. more things you're probably going to do stupid <laughs> to be real honest that's what it's all about and who hasn't wanted to do stupid things? I have. So, okay. The last thing we're going to talk about is the speed sensor. If you, your cart is going slow and you think it needs batteries, you think it ain't charging, you've tested all these other things we just told you about, that is on the motor. And that's what tells the controller how fast your cart is moving. And they often go bad. You need to change that part or have us change it. It can sometimes not be a whole lot of fun to change that part because they get stuck in there. And if you break the magnet inside that controls it, you got more issues. And he'll show you the magnet right now. But that speed sensor, if it goes bad, this card will probably go about three miles an hour, and that's it. So those are the things that make your cart go slow or make it go less distance. That's it.